And, and Theo's going to stay here because it's a clean sweep with manager of the year. Yeah, so I get the, uh, the pleasure of, of introducing Joe Madden, uh, the Baseball American Manager of the Year. Um, had, uh, had the utmost respect for Joe watching him across the field uh, from my days in Boston uh, when he was with Tampa and just uh, always admired how he got his team to be the aggressor and, and, and put the opponent on the defensive. And when we had a chance to hire him and sit down and talk baseball um, on, on the beach in Pensacola uh, in, his, uh, in his RV, um, really had a great connection and felt it would be a tremendous fit for the Cubs. And he, he had just an amazing first year in an organization, really exceeded all our expectations, brought with him a tremendous culture change, uh, brought energy, um, positivity, uh, belief in, in, uh, in his players and, and in the organization, and uh, was a tremendous colleague, loyal, supportive, and a heck of a lot of fun to be around. So uh, couldn't be happier to introduce the Baseball American Manager of the Year, Joe Madden. Digging the music, huh? Uh, I just want to say thank you to Baseball America for this wonderful honor tonight. Um, however, I see other managers sitting within the audience. Uh, Clint's right over here, TC over here, of course, Buck. Anytime a manager receives this kind of an award, it truly is indicative of good baseball players. <laughs> we have really good baseball players in Chicago which also is indicative of a wonderful uh, scouting and development system in which we do have. So I, was, I came in late to the party, came in last season, walked in, and I was the uh, beneficiary of this uh, great group of players. Beyond that, the uh, ownership, uh, of course, the Ricketts family, uh, wonderful people, and then, and then to get to work with Theo and Jed and the rest of the group on a daily basis. So, Believe me, um, he talked about it, we mentioned it, uh, we did get together in my RV, the Cousin Eddie, uh, down in Pensacola for a couple of days, the butt end backed up against a small beach, cracked open a couple 16-ounce uh, Miller Lights, I don't know if they're sponsors or not, uh, but <laughs> had a great conversation and found out we had all this common ground. And then uh, to get to live and work in the wonderful city of Chicago, and then this incredible uh, tradition and fan base that exists there. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't have been uh, uh, more pleased, happy, or proud, or, or honored to be uh, within that group. So uh, again, uh, this is, it's a really, it's a humbling experience to be recognized in this manner. But I, if, if anything, uh, I sincerely want to say thank you to my players and my coaching staff. Um, without them, obviously, this stuff cannot occur. KB, uh, congratulations to KB and Cal. Uh, Cal and I have worked together in the past. and. I'm just going to take two more seconds. I got this project working up in Hazleton, Pennsylvania, the Hazleton Integration Project. We're trying to assimilate and bring together the Hispanic and Anglo cultures in my hometown. And the Ripken Foundation has been huge contributors uh, to what we're doing up there to the point where that gym is a real gym right now. We have a batting cage coming down from the ceiling. And uh, we continue to, to make strides regarding uh, bringing the different cultures together in my hometown and hopefully in, in more of northeastern Pennsylvania eventually. So congratulations to you. I'll get KB as a text. Thank you for having us here tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you.